I was born and raised in Harrisburg, uptown PA. I'm a product of the Harrisburg School District. We, as the community, we hear a lot of bad things about the Harrisburg School District kids. In middle school, I moved to Susquehanna. I think that followed me, so that was kind of a burning fire in me to prove that, you know, city kids are smart. City kids know how to do work. City kids can get honors. So that was one of the things that pushed me into just being a great student. The National Honor Society, I probably had like a 3.8. When I graduated, I played an instrument, played the trumpet, I was in a concert band. Trying to be well-rounded. My mom allowed positive men to be a part of my life. So I gotta shout out my, you know, one of my best mentors, rest in peace, Mr. Reginald God, man, he was, one of the best things that happened to me. I almost felt like I moved out to Susquehanna to meet him and my high school coach, uh, Coach Emory Cook. So those two guys made a big difference. They were like my BMDs when I moved out of the city and, and I kind of had no one, no males to turn to. And, and, and just seeing those strong black men and how they kept the Susquehanna community together, uh, they made a big difference in my life and I always say, you know, I owe them everything. So Susquehanna uh, graduated, played ball, won a state title in 97. I played ball, ended up going to Dickinson College where I graduated, the bachelor's degree in international business and management. I never really thought of going to Dickinson until it was one day I was in class. Rest in peace, Dr. Holtzman pulled me out of class and he's like, prop, man, what you gonna do? Only thing I knew is I wanted to hoop. I wanted to play basketball in college. I kind of told him some of the schools that contacted me and he was like, well, what you want to do though? And I was like, you know, my older brother, Joe Proctor, he had a barber shop and he had a bar at the age of 25. So I seen him already having businesses. So I'm like, well, I want to have a business. I want to be a businessman. We started looking up majors for international business and Dickinson popped up. And that was one of the schools that actually was recruiting me. One of their coaches was a substitute teacher in Susquehanna Township. Dickinson ended up being a great uh, experience for me. It kinda, kinda introduced me to the real world and the business aspect, cause it was predominantly white. It cost a lot of money to go there, wealthy young white people there. And they had a real good international program where they bought people from those countries. Like if it was a Puerto Rican, like they were just graduating from a high school in Puerto Rico, you know, from Ghana, they just graduated from Ghana and they were coming to Dickinson. So it just, it just opened my eyes to so many different cultures, just being in that environment and, and it helped me. From Dickinson, man, I, um, I started working for the Auditor General, State Auditor, I would audit school districts, the money they receive from the state. Uh, and now currently work for the federal government. Um, you know, as a financial management analyst. Um, just trying to find my way, using the resources that I have, using a lot of the lessons that I learned, just understanding your greatness and being great and knowing that, you know, we were all made on this earth to be our greatest self and fulfill our purpose and do it fearlessly. And that's what we want to teach kids, like, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to be great. Cause sometimes like we're scared of even our own greatness. Okay, always remember man, to think, to speak, and to live positive and know that you are great. Hey guys, my name is Blake Hamilton. If you want to see more hometown athletes, coaches, or trainers, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out findaballer.com. Thanks for watching.